So today I'm reviewing the Weller Butane Soldering Iron. It has a maximum temperature of 1075 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 580 degrees Celsius. It's adjustable from 25 watts to 75 watts. And it includes a 2.4 millimeter double flat soldering tip. You can also get a 0.8 millimeter single flat, it looks like a little shoe uh, soldering tip. And you can also get this in the larger size of a 2.4 millimeters uh, single flat, which is just three times the size of this one. So you got a total of three different tips that you could get. It comes with the one larger flat tip. Um, when this is fully charged up with butane, it runs for 60 minutes, according to the manufacturer. And um, it has your lighter on the side here, which is just a little click lighter. And the gas on and off here, up for on, down for off. When the protection lids on it will force the gas to be off. One thing about the soldering tips they come in a three pack. I haven't seen them sold individually yet. Um, currently they're priced at $10 a tip so this would be $30 in tips here. This soldering iron will come empty with no butane in it so you'll need to pick yourself up a bottle of butane to fill it up. And it's as simple as using the end that's on there already going down on the bottom here and pushing it in and it'll fill it up. There's a little viewport here to see the fluid in there and seeing how full it is. Right now it's full so we'll do that a little bit later after we do some testing. So to turn on this soldering iron, take off the cap, I adjust it to the high setting, 75 watts, turn on your gas, you'll hear it coming out and click it on. You should see it light up there. If it doesn't, just do it a couple more clicks and it should light up. So when it's running, you could adjust the wattage by just turning this back here down to 25 or all the way up to 75. And then it adjusts anywhere in between as well. There's no auto off on this, so if you set it down, it's going to be running until it consumes all the butane in this little tank. Um, so be sure when you're done with it um, to turn off the gas, cap it, and then uh, put it away once it cools down. That's about it about the overall details on it. Let's get into testing it out. So to change the tip out, make sure it's cooled off of course. It does take a little while for that end to cool off if you had it on. Um, just unscrew this end here. Take that off. And then just just kind of pull it off like that. You have uh, two pieces here, and this this will be your tip here. And if you want to swap out, you know, this is a smaller tip. Just goes right in here. Goes on there. That goes on there, and just turn it on. I like to have the viewport kind of pointing at me. So when I turn it on, I can see it light up. So one more thing about the uh, butane soldering iron is uh, you can take the tip out, just put this tip holder back on and screw this on. And it could be a little uh, butane torch. So the lights off so we see the butane torch mode. So turn on the gas, light her up. So there it is. It only seems to uh, work when it's on low. If you go any bit above low, it will pretty much shut off on you. Also, it doesn't take much of a wind to blow it out. And then uh, I'm about two feet away so this is a little mode that I don't know could be handy for something maybe a shrink wrap or something so I'm turning this up to the full 75 watts soldering this uh, twisted pair of 20 
gauge wire together. There you go. So I'll be sawing this 14 aug wire together at 75 watts. There you go. So here again at 75 watts, I'll just solder the end of this wire. This is a 14 aug wire. There you go. So here's a very teeny wire, like 26 aug wire. We're gonna uh, solder that one. I have it 25 watts now. Let's see how it does. There you go. So this is a crimped end, but for testing, I just want to see if it could solder the end of this or if this is going to soak up all the heat and I can't solder it. So I have it say 5 watts here, and we're going to just see if I could fill that in with solder. Yep, there you go. So I'm going to be soldering this PC board. Have it just set above the uh, minimum. There you go. So here's those ends of the pins soldered. I go here and reheat some of these pads for kind of like a close quarter soldering. There you go. So I'm going to attempt to measure the uh, the heat at the tip on low, and then I'll try high using this thermal gun. So let's get that started. Turn down the low. Five hundred.
550. Might be about 550 where it's uh, settling out at. Yeah, 550, 560 it seems. Let's turn it up to max. Seven hundred. Looks like it's hitting eight hundred now. I'd say about that's how it's going to get eight hundred, eight ten. Seems about where it's getting. Tank's about a quarter full. I'll show you how to fill it up here. Turn your soldering iron upside down where the port is right here. And then line it up with a little needle in there. And you basically just push down. That's probably about as full as you could get it there. About seven eighths, just about an eighth of it shy. So my final takeaways on this is uh, I love the adjustability of the heat from 25 watts to 75 watts. Um, I like how it's really quick to charge back up by just uh, filling it up with butane just in a few seconds. A um, couple things I didn't like was uh, when it's on low, you can't even tell it's on, you can't hear it, you can't really see the light in there. Um, and when it's on high, there's a lot of heat that comes out this hole. So if you're doing some close quarter soldering with the solder and the iron, heat will come out there and it could burn your skin. So you got to mind to keep that uh, away from your fingers when you're in there soldering. And I also wish the uh, lighter and the gas, I wish they color coded these, like made the, uh, the gas one red here and then the the lighter one uh black or blue but uh because it's hard you can't really tell which one's which they look exactly the same except for a little tiny symbol so that's about it so if you're enjoying this content don't forget to uh give it a thumbs up and subscribe thanks